the final recipient of the Heart Award is Sister Angela Mary. I chose to nominate Sister Angela Mary for the Heart Award because I think she's got a heart as big as this world. It has just the name, the Heart Award, and coming from a group that I, I so love, and, you know, I spent so little time there in comparison to so many people that I know are doing wonderful work. Ever since I was a, a small child, and she would uh, take me by the hand on the playground at school and help me find someone to play with because I was so shy, I felt like she, I, could, I could trust her. I could, you know, feel comfortable in her presence. But I was so um, marked all my life by the fact that she chose a vocation that's so difficult, and yet she loves it so much that I think that's been, she's been my, my mentor, my best friend, and my role model. I left um, Sacred Heart in June, and in August I entered the Sisters of the Holy Cross in, at St. Mary's. And after uh, six years, after my final vows, I came to Brazil. I worked in our academy here for uh, 10 years, and then I went to the uh, marginalized people. And then I was so pleased that I got the name Angela Medici because Angela was our American foundress and also was one of the Ursuline foundress. Even though she's been doing this work for over half a century, then I am just blown away by the fact that she gets up every day and goes right back to it and is never intimidated because she's serving the people and she has such a love in her heart for the people that uh, I'm inspired by that. Yeah, we say to our, our young people, I'm not afraid of tomorrow because I've seen yesterday and I have today. Of, of course, I, my sister was very, very kind to do it, but I received this in the name of all the young women who are presently at Sacred Heart, the young people that have to keep the heart alive because our generations didn't know how to make a world of peace. Now they must.